All right, welcome back on the show. I'm with us on the show today is an illustrator, visual artist, who works and lives in Lagos, Nigeria. His art actually focuses on the many complexities of the human mind, and he actually uses art as a visual tool to depict the vis versatility of human mind. I am talking about no other guest or wonderful artist than Martin Ufo Awinaga. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Good Thank evening. you so much for joining us, Martin. Thank you. I think the more interesting thing for me about you is you being an illustrator. We don't have so much of you in Nigeria. Exactly. Or at least we have a lot, but, you know. A lot. I think we're starting to see a lot more of illustrators, yeah. most especially fashion illustrators. You know, people who are taking you know, designs from the runway and giving us the illustration version of it. And I, I think it's really beautiful what you're doing. But yours focuses particularly on the complexities of the mind. Yes. Tell us about that. How does that work? Okay, so um, it's common to create art. Okay, so um, art drawing or creating any form of art, be it music or illustrations, releases dopamine. Okay, so that, that, that relaxes, um, relaxes me, especially. I know it relaxes people as well. Okay, so did you actually have a background knowledge in this or? Oh, no. Oh. No, no, no. So um, I grew up alone. I grew up as an only child for, I was an only child for a couple of years, and that was my only means of escape, basically. Oh. So I just, how I felt, it could be a music, it could be music, a song I heard, it could be a conversation I eavesdropped, and I just take that feeling and I put it on paper. Hmm. Okay, okay, so with regards to your kind of art, what would you say, you, you mentioned your, it could be music that puts you in the mood and all yes. that. How would you say, it's how profitable is it in Nigeria? Oh, well, it is because, I mean, um, the creative, I think people are beginning to become more aware of art in Nigeria. I mean, we're having art shows popping up every year, every now and then. Okay, so people are becoming to be more sensitive mm. to art. I mean, because if you look at art, it, one way or another, you, you're able to relate to it. Okay, mm. so it, it stirs up a certain feeling within yourself. So I think people are beginning to you know, connect. Okay. So now, I, I would prefer to call your art weird art. No, well, it's not weird. I call it weird <laughs> because sometimes I see your color combos or, or maybe your depictions as it yes. where or as it becomes. And I feel sometimes it's not just about you being contracted for something. Sometimes you try to still pass a message with the art. Yes. Why is that so? Okay, so um, I'm shy. And you are shy? Yes, I am, actually. I am shy. So um, I use art as a way to communicate what I'm feeling. I mean, I don't need to have anybody looking down my shoulder or telling me, do this, do that. I just draw it as I feel it. So if I'm happy, you could, you could tell from the way the lines flow, the way I draw curves and circles. And if I'm angry, you see a lot of, ang you see a lot of straight lines. So I, I, I love how I'm able, most times it's not premeditated. I just put mm. pen to paper and I just draw how I feel. And Do you at any point how, get any professional training to perfect what you already used as an escape? Oh, no, I just draw every day. And you got better? Yes. Okay, did you have any background? Because I'm trying to see. I, I believe there are people who just are naturally gifted artists, but sometimes I feel like these things flow down in the genes <laughs> one way or the other. So do you have any parents who's art inclined? Uh, no. Okay. No, no. So it's just something you picked up. It's just something I picked up. So what, what's the plan for you and your art in the near future? Okay, so um, I plan to have um, exhibitions, okay, so um, to have people experience my art, because I know not too many people have had the opportunity to see my type of work or experience my art. So I'm trying to, I'm working with a couple of people, okay, to have a sort of interactive um, art experience mm. for, for people. So you could, where you could actually, um, working with someone who is into um, virtual reality and augmented reality, so we're trying to make art, um, what do you call it, in a space, a visual space, where people can get to experience and move through the art, you know, to get to feel it. Okay. So that's so my I plan. I, I know that you do animations too. Uh, yes. <laughs> and I knew that you attended an animation festival a while ago. Now, do you think that for our schools, we need more animation, animation kind of art for education of the kids concerning so, culture and customs? Okay, so what I think is, like, um, outside the country, they have dedicated art schools or design schools. Okay, so that, that way they're not distracted by any other coursework or curriculum that is not art or um, creative 
um, what do you call it, creative centered. So we need to have like dedicated, um, dedicated art schools or design schools in, in the country. That's the only way we can get that work. All right. Okay. And um, who would you say are some of the artists that you look up to? In Nigeria or Both outside Both Nigeria, the outside Nigeria. Uh, that's going to be a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> who are the artists that do the kind of arts that you do? Okay, so there's... Um, I don't think there's anybody that does the kind of art I do because mine, mine is quite unique. But there are a couple of people who do um, abstract art that um, centers on how the human mind works. So there's... Laulu, Laulu, everybody knows Laulu. Laulu yeah. Then there's Aina. I like how I like how his work. Aina, I can't remember his name, but it goes by Ainoism. I like the way he's, he's, he's. I've been watching him over time, and I love the way he's, he puts his work together. Mm. And the way, they do that, the way the lines flow, and he has found the style for himself, and I kind of like that. Okay. Because um, the art scene in Nigeria, I have a couple of people who are mediocre and just see stuff and like, oh, I can do that. And they just go and copy someone else's work. I mean, that's not that's not right. We're starting to see a rise in hyperrealism as well. Are we expecting that at some point you venture into? Oh that? no no no! I'll, I'll leave that for them. I mean, if I want something realistic, I go take a photograph. <laughs> <laughs> it's been such a delight to have you. Thank you so much. Thank Wish you. you all the best with your career. Thank and you very much. That art experience you are planning, please, when you do it, invite us so that I'm we sure can you'll be the it. last to know. <laughs> Yeah. You won't be the last okay, to know. She said we'll be the last to <laughs> I wanted to ask you, what did we do to offend you that we'll no, be nothing, the last? No, nothing, nothing, really. But all the best, and thank you so much for joining us. So thank how you, can people me. follow you on social media? Okay, so media? Um, on Instagram, I'm UFO underscore South. Don't worry about the UFO. It's not the one you know. Unidentified flying objects. No, actually, you will find out. That's what it means. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So that is also because of the style of my art. Okay. Oh. Okay, and on Twitter, I'm also UFO underscore South. All right, UFO underscore South is the handle to follow. If you want to see what his art is about, his art that nobody else does anything like, you might want to check it out. To enjoy more of this, our Ugunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.